Today's exciting XP project is going to be wireless relay control. And I'm using my two XBs here. And each one has got a battery pack. I'm going to turn these on now. And what I've done is I've connected the digital ins from here, these two, green and white, to green and white. And I just use the digital I.O. passing. So each one of these buttons can switch on these two pins. Now I have two relays here I'm going to demonstrate. One is a classic relay. Um, this is the kind of relay where basically, you know, when you power um, the relay, it opens or closes. Uh, and then this one is a latching relay where you only have to send it a pulse. And so you can pulse it on or pulse it off. You don't have to hold the line to keep it on or off. So um, let's demonstrate. When I press this button, you can see that button turns this relay on or off, and you can hear the clicking. And then to turn this relay on, I can use this button. And you see, I don't have to hold it. Turn it off with this one, turn it on with this one. So this is sort of an alternating relay called a latching relay. And these are really cheap. These are like a dollar, two dollars, these standard relays. And this one does 30 amps. This one only does 10 amps or so, but um, it's a little more expensive as well. It's um, eight to ten dollars for this one. But what's nice is that if you're, uh, you know, putting this in a place where you need low power, um, so you don't want to draw a lot of power because this takes like 100 milliamps. This only needs a pulse, um, and also if the power goes out or you know they lose communication, you don't have a risk of. Um, the relay resetting. It only resets when it sets, gets a signal. So two kinds of relays, uh, wirelessly controlled with XBs. Um, this circuitry is just, oh, touching it with my fingers. Um, this circuitry is just for buffering the input. So this is a little transistor switch. And here, because there's two inputs, I just used a standard hex buffer to uh, buffer the input from the XB to the latch. So that's it. If you want to control up to 30 amps wirelessly with an XB from 150 feet away, uh, this is probably how you do it. Great. And here's the cat. Hello, cat. All right. That's it. Yeah.